All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, to the elect brothers of Israel, which are which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, you know, I wanted to get into the topic, you know, that hey, we can't let the cares of this world, all right, overtake you, man. All right, the, the cares of this world, the lust of the flesh, all right? And we got to be, um, we got to be thinking of the kingdom, man. All right. And doing the work of the Lord, man. All right. Because uh, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord, man. You know, let me just uh, start out in Sirach. I had other precepts written down, but let me just flow in the spirit. <clears throat> and this is the book of Sirach, chapter two. In verse 15, it says, They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. You see that? You know, they that love you, how about Shemiah Shai? You're going to keep his ways, man. All right? And his ways is not the ways of this world, man. All right? Because the ways of this world is death, man. All right? The scripture says that we walk in the, in the valley of the shadow of death, man. All right? Uh, dry bones, man. All right? This place is spiritually dead, man. All right, no, no spirituality, no knowledge of the Lord. All right, no knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, you know, uh, knowledge has increased, but wickedness has increased as well, man, in these last days, man. All right, the sins have reached up into heaven. All right, you know, so this is this is buckle up time, man. You know, this is buckle up time, you know, to, to stay uh, fervent in spirit for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, it's still hope. All right, it's still hope to um to to come in, to come to the Lord, man. All right, this is Isaiah chapter fifty-five and verse six. It says, "Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near." All right, he is near through his prophets, man. All right, you know the Lord; he speaks through his prophets. All right, so if you hear if you hear the prophets on the street corners or via YouTube, all right, you know that's the Lord reaching out his hand, reaching out his hand. All right, but two thirds of our people they're gonna they're gonna deny that hand. All right, they're gonna deny uh, that that knock at the door. All right, to open, man. All right, Yahweh Shah coming in to sup with you. You're gonna deny Yahweh Shah, man. Two thirds of our people are gonna deny Yahweh Shah. All right. Um, this is Luke chapter two. Luke chapter one, verse 70 it says, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which has been since the world began. All right. You got Isaiah, Jeremiah. All right. You got Moses. All right. You got Noah. All right. All these prophets was, was they were speaking the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. All right. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah was relaying his messages all right, to the children of Israel through his prophets, man. All right, and the prophets are back today, man. All right, 144,000 of the of the prophets of the Lord, they are back today on this earth. You know, to prophesy the downfall of America, man. All right, and it's all written throughout the scriptures. You know, you know, so we gotta, we can't allow this world to swallow you up, man. All right, because it it will definitely swallow you up. All right, because uh, the the hey, the, the, the devil the the devil is seeking who he may devour. All right, and this is the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 18. It says, And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lusts of other things, entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful, man. All right, because a lot of people hear these words of the of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you know, they might be in it for a little bit, then they fall out, man. All right, they were sown among thorns, man. All right, you want to be, you want to be in this thing and be fruitful, man. All right, let me read that next one. It says, uh, verse twenty says, and these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, sixtyfold, and some a hundred. All right, bring forth fruit, fruit, man. And how do you do that? You know, by by teaching, uh, Yahow, teaching the words of Yahweh Shemiyasha and sealing the elect, man, bringing in more men. All right, that's how you do that, man. All right, that's how you. Salakia, have to be careful. I heard, you know, Jake. 
Uh, yeah, but you know that's how you that's how you sow good sow good fruit, all right, and be productive to your how about Shimia all right, waking up his men, all right. And from there, let me get uh, Mark eight, and I'm gonna start at thirty four. It says, and when he called the people unto unto him with his disciples, also he said unto them. Whosoever will, will not come after me, let him deny. Whosoever will come after me, Salakia, whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. All right, we got to deny ourselves, man. All right, you know, to deny, deny our flesh, man. All right, you know, we're going to have certain temptations. All right, you no, know, you got to deny, you got to deny the things of this world, man, you know. Falling back out of this world uh, to smoke weed, you know, to get a better paying job, you know, to uh, to get a, a better car, you know, what comes with a better paying job. You know, we're not looking to we're not looking long long term in this society, man. All right. We are looking short term, man. All right. We just go to work, get our daily bread. We take care of our family. All right. We're not looking at uh, the, to be the Floyd Mayweather is in this society, the Jay Z's in this society. All right, because the fashion of this world is going to uh, pass away, man. All right? So if the fashion of this world pass away, you know, what good is it to maintain a good stature in this society if it's not going to be longevity? All right? The kingdom is going to be longevity. So you're gonna, you want to earn your spot in the kingdom to be uh, one of the top men in, in the kingdom, man. All right? By being of the elect, man. You know? And fashion of this world is going to pass away. All right? It's 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 31. It says, And they that use this world as not abuse it, for the fashion of this world pass it away. All right, we, we're using this world, man. We're not abusing it, man. All right, we, we, we still take our um, our refund checks from taxes. All right, we still take that because we're using this world. We're not abusing it. All right, and we may, some brothers may want to go to school so they can get a, uh, just a higher paying job for the time being instead of struggling real bad, you know, using this world, not abusing it. All right. But abusing this world, that's what two thirds do, man. All right. You know, they smoke weed. They have sex with other men's wives because Esau, he has no punishment for that, you know, through Esau. But through the laws of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, that's punishment, man. All right. You know, they abuse this world, man. All right. They, they attend all these, uh, uh, um, <clears throat> Wicked holidays, man, which goes back to worshiping, worshiping other gods, man. All right, our, our people fornicate spiritually, uh, and, and that's cheating on the Heavenly Father, man. All right, the Lord is a jealous power, man. All right, you know he he's a king of king of king of all things, but yet uh, you you want to worship a, a golden calf, you know you want to worship uh, gold, you want to worship a rock, man. All right. You know, you want to call upon other gods. You want to you want to worship things made by man's hands, man. All right. You know, the fashion of this world is going to pass away, man. And all that means doesn't mean nothing. All right. Hey, but the devil, he's out here seeking who he may devour, man. All right. It's to get you destroyed right along with him. All right. Esau, he's he's putting that crafty counsel. All right. And, that, and that's the devil the Bible speaks of, man. All right. Esau. All right, this is 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. It says, be sober, be vigilant, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, man. All right, all right, it says, uh, the adversary, man, you know, adverse to Yahweh Shemi Al Shah. All right, you know, having these gay parades, you know, doing all these homosexual homosexual acts selling your soul you know what can you give in exchange all right for for this truth man all right you, you, your soul man all right you give your soul to the devil you sell out for the for the temporary things all right but in the kingdom hey our, our houses you know our um our gold man is going to be so much more pure everything is going to be given to us freely man all right, Yahweh is going to give everything to us freely, man. All right, and gold and um diamonds and all the and all the women, and everything that's all just perks, man. 
All right, because Lori, all he wants from us is uh, to keep his law, statutes, and commandments perfectly, man. And we're going to do that in the kingdom of heaven. All right, and what comes with that is perks, man. All right, rulership. All right. <coughs> like I said, everything given to us freely, man. All right, anything you want, women. All right, servants, handmaids. All right, people working out in the field for you. All right, let me just get that. It's the book of Psalms. I believe it's. Yeah, Psalms chapter 84 and verse. Verse 11 says, For the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh is a is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly, man. All right, we're going to be keeping the law, statutes, commandments perfect in the kingdom. So we're going to be walking uprightly. And the scripture says, uh, no good thing will be uh, will he withhold from them that walk uprightly, man. Our Lord is going to give us everything in the kingdom, man. All right, on a golden platter, man. We're going to be spoiled in all righteousness, man. All right. You know, so that's this is the things that we're looking forward to, man. All right, we're not looking forward to being friends with this world, man. Fuck this world, man. That should be your mentality, you know. But stay in that Clark Kent mode, you know. You know, when we out on a job, you know, we stay Clark Kent, uh, Clark Kent. All right, in disguise, man. Wise as serpents, man, and harmless as doves. All right, but hey, in our spirit, we hate this world. All right, this is the book of James, chapter four, verse four. Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of this world is enmity with the Most High? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the of the world is the enemy of the Most High, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. All right, hey, forget this world, man. All right, because it's gonna it's gonna be all burnt away, man. All right, it's, it's gonna be neither root nor branch. All right, so why would you want to do uh? Put all your, your trust and hope in a society that's going to be left in the long run without root nor branch. <laughs> you know? Our, our, our affections are, are in heaven, man. All right, we set our things on the, on the things that are above, man. You know, not things that are beneath. All right, this is Colossians chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, if ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above, where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of, of Yahweh. Set your affection on things above, not things on the earth, man. All right? With uh, the things that, that moth and rust can get on, man, why would you set your affection on that? All right? Because in, in the kingdom, in the in, uh <coughs> Monster rust won't won't touch our um our fine our fine gold man, all right. Streets paved in gold man, all right. You know we got everything coming to us man, all right. But two thirds of our people they're gonna be um simple man. They're gonna remain simple, and they're gonna be in that season of mirth man, all right. But we're in a house of mourning man, all right. And the scripture says fools are in the house of uh, mirth man. You know, this Ecclesiastes chapter seven and verse four, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth, man. All right, the, they are happy in this society. All right, while the wise, man, all right, the elect, hey, we, we are complaining about this place, man. Righteously complaining, man. Though mark those that sigh and that cry for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right, it says that in Ezekiel chapter nine, verse four. All right, hey, so that's what we're doing, man. We're signing a crime to the Heavenly Father, you know, by making these videos, going out to the highways and byways, and cursing out these people, man. All right, all through the Spirit. All right? You know, and let me leave off with, with uh, one last verse in Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. It says, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge, man. All right, you a fool if you hate uh, these scriptures, man. All right, you know the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. 
All right, I'm going to close out with that. I give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and those of the great millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect. To the next lesson, I say Shalom.